Hey everyone, here's a question on multiplicative inverse. Write the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19 and minus 7. So, one is a rational number and one is a whole number. So, how to solve this? Before that, let us take example of 2 by 3. Now, so what we should multiply to do this 2 by 3 to get the answer 1. So, 1 is a multiplicative identity here. So, what we should multiply to get 1? So, if you think it is nothing but reciprocal of 2 by 3 which is 3 by 2 if you multiply 2 by 3 with 3 by 2 you'll get the answer 1 the numbers will get cancelled here you can see the 2 will get cancelled and 3 will get cancelled we'll get the answer 1 so multiplicative inverse is nothing but we have to just take the reciprocal of the given number and then you'll get it so let me just rewrite this once again so we have taken example of 2 by 3 so to this 2 by 3 we have to multiply with 3 by 2 to get the answer 1. So here 3 by 2 will become multiplicative inverse of 2 by 3. Now similarly we can also say that 2 by 3 is a multiplicative inverse of 3 by 2. It's like a vice versa. So I hope it's clear how to find out the multiplicative inverse. You have to just take the reciprocal of the given number. You can keep the signs. There's no change in sign. The sign will remain same. You have to just interchange the numerator and denominator. That is you have to take the reciprocal. Now let us find out the multiplicative inverse of the a number which is given in the question so we have minus 13 by 19 so what we should multiply to this minus 13 by 19 to get 1 so take a reciprocal so it will be 19 by minus 13 yeah this is equal to 1 numbers will get cancelled we'll get the answer 1 so multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19 will be 19 by minus 13 so here you can keep the negative sign in the denominator or in the numerator it doesn't matter because a whole number is a negative number so it's okay if you keep the negative sign in the denominator or in the numerator it will not gonna change the value of the number so let me rewrite this so once again let me write down so we have 13 by 19 so since yeah, minus 13 by 19 is multiplied by 19 by minus 13 is equal to 1, which implies that 19 upon minus 13 is the multiplicative inverse. So I got a lot of question and comment that my answer is wrong because I have written negative sign in the denominator. It's completely fine. You can write negative sign in the denominator. Your teachers may not write them because it's very convenient. It's not confusing to write them in the numerator. But this answer is correct. This number is correct. It has a value. It's a negative number. So, it's okay if you write down the negative sign in the denominator. If you want to avoid that, you can write this in the numerator. They are actually equivalent. So, here 19 by minus 13 is same as minus 19 by 13. They both are equivalent. Now, why they are equivalent? Let me show an ex another example to explain this because I got a lot of this in the my comments that the answer is wrong because of the one negative sign I have kept in the denominator. They both are equal. How they are equal, I am going to explain you. So, we have, suppose, let us take a neg number which is 2 by minus 3. I have taken negative sign in the denominator. Now, you have learned about the equivalent fractions or equivalent rational numbers, right? We have to multiply with a certain number in the numerator and denominator to get the equivalent. So, here also, we have a number 2 by minus 3. So, minus is there in the denominator. So, if I multiply this with minus 1 in the numerator and denominator, okay, so this will become minus 2 by 3. So, I am finding out the equivalent rational number here or equivalent fraction of a number where I'll, I have multiplied with minus 1 in the numerator and denominator, I am getting minus 2 by 3. So, you can see that 2 by minus 3 is equal to minus 2 by 3. They are equal. So, no it doesn't matter where you put the negative sign. So, I hope it's clear. So, now let's conclude the answer. So, 19 by minus 13 is the multiplicative inverse of, is the multiplicative inverse of 19 by, my, sorry, minus 13 by 19 of minus 13 by 19. Now, this was a number, like it was a fraction. Now, let us take minus 7, which is a whole number. Now, second question is a whole number, 1 minus 7. So, I hope you all know how to take the reciprocal of minus 7. So, that was first question. Let's go to second one. Minus 7 we have. So, reciprocal of minus 7 is 1 by minus 7. Okay. Minus 7 multiplied by 
माइनस वन और वन बाय माइनस सेवन विल गोला गिव यू आंसर वन सो यू कैन कैंसिल माइनस सेवन हियर दे विल गेट कैंसिल सो हियर वी कैन से दैट वन बाय माइनस सेवन इज द मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ माइनस सेवन दैट्स इट अगेन नेगेटिव साइन यू कैन कीप इन द न्यूमरेटर और इन द डिनोमिनेटर इट्स कम्प्लीटली ऑन यू सो लेट्स कंक्लूड द आंसर हियर therefore multiplicative inverse or or we can say वन by माइनस सेवन इज मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ सो ही हैव रिटर्न माइनस इन द न्यूमरेटर माइनस वन बाय सेवन इज मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ माइनस सेवन सो दैट सेट आई होप इट्स क्लियर हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग